So Mike. Yeah. You got a podcast right now. I man. do. I educated villains. Yeah, tell us about this, man. Um, the educated villains is is actually a, a marriage of, of what you asked me about. It's it's it. Um, I I got tired of having to either do smart shit or rap shit, and I decided to just present what I perceive rap is like smart shit from street people. Mm. And um, educated villains podcast. I play dope music that from everybody I like. I play a lot of new shit. Play some old shit, but um. Even bigger than that, I talk about shit that's relevant to us, everyone in this room, from a hip hop perspective in a real and relative way. So um, I um, have to do a new one now because I went to Europe and had an epiphany and totally changed some things politically the way I thought, and I'm gonna do it. But I just, I just think that, um, it was partially inspired by you too. I just think that rappers should take the opportunity to say something. You know, um, a lot of times our messages are in our music, but because the beat and the grooves are so dope, people miss it. And I think that we owe the audience at this point the ability, those that can, to say something. You had an epiphany a couple of years ago. You did a song called Drones Over Brooklyn, mm. which was futuristic. You know, it was science fiction. Now nah. we got drones flying over JFK, man. But it wasn't, though. W w w tell us about that, man. I don't write science fiction. And, and, that's, and that's one of the things that I think that, um, that's that's one of the, the the battles intellectually that I fought with people who who, who think that I, I do. I don't give a fuck about science fiction. Mm -hmm. To me, the idea of drones over Brooklyn is simply the next logical step. Mm. I'm just watching what's happening in the world and saying, well, two and two is four, isn't it? I mean, if that's the case, then. Four is you're flying robots to control a population mm -hmm. there. You're gonna fly robots to control a population, population here. here. Right. It's not magic. It's not a fucking magic trick. And I'm not like, I'm not, you know, I'm not talking about science fiction. It and fucking magic? drones aren't science fiction. Right. Drones are real. They're real. If I would have fucking said drone, there were gonna be these robots that fly in the city, 10 years ago. There are gonna be these robots, just, you know, they're gonna fly in the unmanned, sky. Unmanned, unmanned. They're gonna be unmanned, they're gonna fight wars, they're gonna shoot children. Uh, mostly, uh, and you know, and the, and the, you know, you then you'd be like, that's science fiction. Yeah, only just because they haven't made it yet. Look, I know. Look, when you see a cell phone, when you saw the big cell phone, you knew in five years the big cell phone was gonna be smaller. Mm -hmm. It's not fucking science fiction. It's mm. logic. Mm. So you know, it's that. That's all it is to it. It it sucks that I'm right about right. most of this shit. Yeah. I hate being right. I fucking hate being right because my perspective is dark. Right. I, I look at shit, not that I want it to be dark, but I, 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 I'm, I'm motherfucking petrified for us. Mm. I'm scared for us. So no what are you joke. seeing next, B? What's next, if we're not careful, what's next is fascism. I mean, it's fucking there. Mm. I mean, look, the legal framework for fascism has been put into our government, into our woven into the fabric of a society for the last 10 years, mm. starting with the potentially and probably false flag attack of 9-11 mm -hmm. and starting with the Patriot Act and, now, and, 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 and Obama, everyone's hope and savior, is continuing those policies and they're getting stronger mm -hmm. and they're getting tighter and they're clamping down. And if you fuck around, look, if there's any credence to the guy who wrote Drones Over Brooklyn a year before drones were flying over yes, Brooklyn, yes. then listen to me, we're gonna be in a fascist police state. It's happening, it's there. They're not, they're not erasing the law that, that protects citizens against the government using the military on them because they think it would be a good idea in an emergency to be able to kill Americans. They're using it because they kind of maybe want to plan to do that. They're not mm. erasing, they're not stripping you of your right to uh, representation if you're accused of suspected terrorism, terrorism while the right. definition of terrorism expands every time they sit down to the table to include people with guns, mm. to include people who talk about the Constitution, to include, they're people not- People with ideas and they exist. And, and I'm not saying every conspiracy true, but just like a cop will tell you, we follow stereotypes because 90% of the time they're mm -hmm. true. If I'm living in a country that puts smallpox in blankets, mm -hmm. allow black men to carry syphilis through, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, purposefully raped the black farmers of over 30 million acres of land. I kind of think that you'll fuck over anybody. Mm -hmm. And here's, you know the, and here's and, the thing and, that kills me. Yeah, and when people say, well, well, the, the, the police uh, and the government won't kill re regular citizenry. Well, what happened to all those prisoners in New Orleans? Mm. 
No one, you, no one remembers watching the news on New Orleans when the prisoners were just standing on the fucking expressway. No one ever realizes that they were never talked about again. Mm. No one ever realizes that cops were actually brought up and investigated for murdering yes. them. Yes, yes. No, like, no, no one realizes that people become expendable in those, in those type of times. So like the, the theories and shit that you're thinking, it's, it's just because people will hate you more for telling them the truth because they can't turn away. It's, it, people know you're right. Where's the leap of logic? Where's the leap of logic? Like, where, how does it work? I want to know how it works for the people who don't believe in conspiracies. I want to know how you can get a, fuck a conspiracy, but how do you trust someone if you have a friend and that friend regularly murders other people? Mm. Regularly murders them viciously and ruthlessly without a thought, right. psychopathically and, and, and as a habit, regularly murders other people. Why are you so convinced that you are the exception to that person's mm. psychopathic behavior? Why, how can you, if I know a motherfucker and he's a murderer, <laughs> you don't want to, yo, <laughs> even if he's an old friend, if he's an old friend, Hey man, you know, but I'm, busy I'm right not now. hanging I'm the, out with I'm you. I'm in the studio right now. I'm not <laughs> hanging out with you because right. you're a murderer. Right. So why is it that all of a sudden, how is it that we're the exceptions of fucking logic? Even black men being jailed more. Like why is 70 to 80% of the prison population um, but black and Latino men? Because it's slavery. Yeah. Oh, what do you mean? They just, no modern, modern J. Jim According Crow. to the 13th Amendment, slavery is illegal in these United States unless you are property of the state, mm -hmm. meaning in prison. Yeah. So, so it would make sense to me that there's a population of men who are doubly unemployed, mm -hmm. who are nonviolent drug offenders, Stop and frisk makes and, fucking and who sick. look the same exactly Be because I know if I lock more of them up that more free shit is happening. So people say, well, I'm not wearing anything made from jail, but have you noticed they don't hire as many people for city jobs anymore? Mm. What does that mean? Because your city expressways are now cleaned by prisoners. Mm. When people tell me that, you know, talk about conspiracy theories, isn't that just a big word for a plan? Like, isn't that like, like I literally made a plan to come here. I got here, I made a plan with Mike, I called him mm -hmm. and we got here. That's a plan. It took a conspiracy to get this fucking mug on your table. You know how, you know where this mug comes from? No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> wow. Yeah, straight the fuck up. So but it should say it's made in jail. Exactly. <laughs> made in Myanmar. Don't say that, don't say that. The best thing that could ever happen for the world would be for my albums to not make any sense. Mm. The best thing that could ever happen for humanity is for me to be, to be crazy. To be for me wrong. to be crazy. Right, right.